what's going on guys in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create an instagram profile scraper in make.com as well as utilizing appify and Airtable. all right so it's automatically going to scrape any single instagram profile data you need and then put it into Airtable. you don't need to know how to code let's dive right into it All right, guys, so I've done many videos on this channel utilizing make.com. If you're not familiar with make.com, it's a really great automation tool. It is basically like Zapier, if you're familiar with Zapier, but it's more for, I would say, like us no coders, um, you know, people who you like to use no code tools. And um, let me just pull up my tab here. And yeah, it's super, super awesome. I definitely recommend checking it out. I have a bunch of different videos on make.com appify appify as well i've covered this in many different videos we did a twitter scraper yesterday um where we scrape tweets we've done different types of scrapers and you know i'm going to be doing more in-depth videos very soon where i show you what you can do with the data once you scrape it because that's where really the magic comes in where you can start getting creative with it all right but these are just showing you how to <clears throat> actually build these scrapers and you can take this information go to appify appify is about 49 bucks a month they give you like a free account with five dollars in credits so you can actually try it out for free and you can even make a second organization for free so you get about 10 bucks there and then after a week you can make a third one you just go up here and create organization and you could technically have like 15 bucks a month for free i believe so yeah test it out but they have a really cool actor store which are essentially just no code uh scrapers and i'm just using this instagram one right here and it's one of the most popular ones it's by appify so if i go here to my actors um here we have the instagram scraper and this is the one we're going to be using in this video and i'm just going to get right to it so you can get this built really quick i don't want to waste time for you guys so let me just go here instagram so this is what we're going to be building out all right, so essentially what this will look like is if I go to here, this is what we're going to have. You can see here we have different Instagram profiles and basically they are being scraped. So like, for example, Alex Ramosi, we're getting all the username, the bio, um, the category, the URL, as well as the follower count, the following. Uh, like pretty much all the data you could think of okay and yeah this is good for building like a list of potential um whether it's competitors or where it's just people that you like their content you want to model their content whatever the case may be this is really useful and we're used then we're using this tool Airtable. this is essentially like um google sheets on steroids this is a very very powerful tool I've used tools like Notion, I've used tools like ClickUp, I've used tools like Asana, Monday.com, and, you know, personally for my just project management alone, I like to use ClickUp, but um, Airtable is just so, so powerful, and it's, it's, I, I like it, I, I use Notion for a long time, I still use it for certain things, but this is a database, okay, so if you're not familiar with, like, databases and relational, uh, relation, uh, relational databases, this is very very powerful because it's like you can build an app almost like an app essentially right if you really start um building things out they have automations here and they also have interfaces i'm not going to do an in-depth uh, air table guide in this video but just giving you guys some quick background before i show you of all the tools we're using and then now i'm going to show you exactly how to build it so the workflow is going to be very simple so say you're, you find an a person that you really like there you like their instagram profile um all you would do and you can this is what i do like i'm on my phone i have the Airtable app and i just boom i put the url in there anytime i'm just on the fly i like to have it incorporated into my daily workflow um so anytime i am on social media i don't like to just scroll social media media mindlessly and look at like entertaining videos or whatever i'm usually just scrolling it if it's work related or lots of times i'll be getting targeted by ads or i'll see different like unique um content ideas and maybe i want to remember that profile or i want to 
utilize like different strategies that they're using i'll take that link and all you're gonna do is you would just put it right here so let's just say i put this one right here and it would actually show up as this so this is just a um a field that basically is a single select so let's just say this was not scraped all you would do is click here let me just make sure this is running so run this is what's going to happen i'm going to click like this and go scrape and what's going to happen is we're sending our information to make.com through a webhook right so as as long as this is working well we should see this webhook populate in just a second nothing a little troubleshooting won't fix though so yeah i was kind of glitched out here so we're going to turn this on and yeah sometimes it's just gonna oh it's actually done it already it's kind of funny but as because i have two screens here so i'm looking over on the right side and actually just scrapes this users it should scrape this users now but let's see if i can watch it okay so yeah it's going on right here so appify just went and then this okay so this is actually an issue oh Okay, so we don't want this, and this should be user, boom, let's save that, okay, and just double check, refresh, sometimes you're gonna, if you make changes in the Airtable side, you may sometimes have to refresh things, because I'm gonna show you what it's supposed to do. Let's go here and let's go scrape and let's run this. Oh, goodness. Let's go here, run this, pull up air table. Okay, so it just ran. And basically, what it did. What I just changed there is, so look what it does. It brings in the name, the user, we got the profile, we got the bio, got the business category, we got the follower count, following, post count, got the link that is in their bio, we got, uh, this is something else, this is something else. And we got also, this is really cool, we got their related profiles. The reason why I really like this, and um, this is probably like the most... Let me just make sure you guys can see. I know my, my talking head is in the way there, but... <laughs> yeah, we got the related profiles, we got the links, the, uh, the full names, the IDs, etc. This is cool because even if you don't know... Let's just say you're like trying to find profiles in your niche. You find like five... Then this system is going to give you, like, right here, I think it gives me, like, let me just see. Some of these give, it gives, like, 80 different related profiles. So that's really cool. Because if I go here, we also have two tables. So we have an Instagram table, which is our profiles. And then I also made this related IGs. So you can see here, we got the related Instagrams. It's automatically linked back to the user that it's related to one other thing that i'm actually going to do is i'll show you what i'm going to do here i'm going to have it count how many profiles it's related to so like the way you do that is you would just go insert left here and click roll up we're going to select related profile name and we're going to do count a value very singular value. Now we'll be able to see how many related profiles it pulled. So we got 35 here, 40 here. And then you could potentially like go through these. And I'm also going to set up like a little flow here. This isn't fully done, but I'm just like, um, maybe I'll show you the updated flow in a future video. But you could, but you could just manually take this. Let's say I wanted this guy's to scrape his profile next and now you could go and put it over in your instagram so you're get constantly getting a, a a new automatic um list of potential users that could be in your niche or that are related to 
that same page. So this is really, really cool and really powerful because like you don't have to just always go search. Okay, well, well I'm okay. Now I got this cool scraper. Let me think of a list of 10 people. And then you create the list and you're like, okay, what's another 10 people? Well, no, you're constantly farming new related profiles. So I think that's really cool and really awesome. Now, now that you know how it works um, or what it looks like in action, I'm going to show you exactly what to do. All right. So we're going to walk through each one of these modules. And first off, you're going to need to go to automations. And I tell you guys this every single video, but so if you're new to this channel, I'll, I'll reiterate it one more time. I like to use the webhook function with Airtable and Make because it's just, I'm, I'm just going to explain it in other videos. It's just the best, though, in my opinion. All you're doing is you're going to create a trigger for when the IG status is changed to scrape profile. And then it's just going to run a script. I'll leave this script in the description. You're just going to have to change this URL out with your make.com webhook. And then you're going to need add, to add two variables here. Actually, you actually only need to add one, which is record ID. And then you're just going to, I'm leaving the script in the description. So you literally can just leave it the same. All you're going to have to do is change out this link and put a record ID here and then just put, so you would just go like this, add input variable. You would type record ID like I have it here. And then you would put the variable as a record I record air table record ID like that. All right. I'm going to delete this. Obviously we're going to finish editing. You're going to make sure it's turned on and then you're good for that. Right. Next is you're going to create a webhook. Well, this is what you would need the webhook created already because you're going to grab this URL. That's where you're going to put in your air table. You're going to create a custom webhook for your first module. Next module is you're going to create a module connected to your base, connected to your Instagram table, and you're going to put that. So you, you may have to, once you make this webhook, you're going to want to test it. And you do that just by sending, obviously um, putting out a scrape thing over. And you can also just go here and uh, edit code and then test right here and make sure you're running the module like this. Not going to do it right now. Next, so like I said, we're grabbing it. We're putting the record ID here, and this is getting a record, all right? What this does is it instead of having to, it just basically pulls all the Airtable records over. It's very simple. Second, you're using the Appify Instagram scraper, all right? So this is the code I have, the JSON, and the way I get this is simple. I just go over. And I'm going to try to show you guys how to build this quick. So just because I don't want this, this is, I don't want this to be too, too long for you guys. I want you to get, be able to watch this, build it, implement it. All I'm doing is in Appify, I just put a username here and the Instagram scraper or the, the URL. I'm going to select, you can do other things. You can scrape posts. You can scrape comments. I'm just scraping details of a profile. And then my maximum item is one because I'm running it at once. Here, I just put scrape users and that's it. And then you just go to JSON. You copy this. I always go to like, um, like here and I paste it in because if you don't, it, it kind of gets like just all clumped up. I like to keep the formatting the same. You can put, 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 paste it in a notepad, whatever, or you could just paste it in here. It really doesn't matter. You paste it in here and then you just change this out for the URL. From your air table so that would be the instagram url here and then you would click ok i'm not going to click it right now um also too you're going to need to click run um you're going to have to click yes right here all right so basically what this does it's going to wait until the actor has finished and the maximum timeout for this run is 120 seconds so two minutes so you can do this if you're doing an actor that you know is going to be done in two minutes. If you're scraping like a thousand records or something like this, uh, you probably need to just set up a second, um, like a second execution scenario that, um, and I've done this in other videos, but yeah, you don't need to do that for this. So don't worry about that. And you just like, yeah, don't need to do that. Anyways, after that, we're what we're creating a get data set items. And this is another Appify module and the data set ID is very, is literally just the data set ID default data set from scrape profile. And 
the limit like it doesn't matter i just have it as 100 but we're only grabbing one so it doesn't matter next we're using an array aggregator all right so you just and like guys you, if you don't know what these stuff does don't even worry too much just literally just click what i'm telling you to click and you'll build this so the source module is going to be the get data right here um that data set item and then aggregated fields you're just going to click on related profiles now we're having a router all right so you can get all these like right here right add router and then we're having a text aggregator here okay so you put a text aggregator now for this one i could actually probably change it because i'm actually only pulling 27 so this one like you may not always actually like you may not even like you i don't know i just have this here you don't even necessarily need it right because we actually are using an iterate iterator here and creating all the related igs in a other table and then we're linking that back to the instagram table but just for because i didn't do that at the start i had it in a specific field and i i guess i'll just leave it for now i did it this way it's a kind of bit tedious to be honest and i could add like because some of them pull up like 40 related profiles so i could even add like um up to 40 um like this so i mean all i'm really doing here this is like kind of um yeah it's kind of like i guess tedious to even do let alone explain but all i'm doing is i'm going to the array i'm going to the related profiles and just to show you like i'm just clicking on the want fields i want so you can see here i wrote username clicked on the username array field wrote link and then i just added instagram.com forward slash array and then i use the username here and then i put full name and then the full name uh one right here and then id and that's id here and then i just put the numbers one in between here so like if i click on full name it's gonna look like this you would just put one like that and then i did that for each and like i did that for two i did that for three four five etc all the way down so it's kind of tedious and it's not 100 percent needed but i just did it initially and i probably will leave it um and i may even add more like up to maybe 50 even though not all of them have 50 but either way you don't necessarily need it because we are using this iterator which i'll get to in a second next since since we did the get data here and this is within an array and a an, uh, text aggregator it's like sectioned off and it's exclusive data only for the array and aggregator so we need to get the data again so it's the exact same module you could literally just clone it by right clicking and click clone and drag it over and then we're just updating the field of our instagram um table so we're adding that record id the same one we got there on the webhook for the creator we're putting the full name this is from our git data we just created we're putting the username for the username for the profile hd we're putting the profile url hd a uh, profile pic hd i just put the full name for the for the pic hd i also have a pic in lower quality because instagram has it so i actually hit it in my air table but i still put it in there anyways you'll see in a second I changed the IG status to ready to scrape posts if I want to scrape their posts after. Um, bio, this is for the bio, business category, business category, follower account. So you're really just mapping the fields. They're all right here. So I, I shouldn't have to explain every single one, but I will briefly. Following count, highlighted real count, post count, external URL, um, external URL shimmed, which is just inst wrapped in Instagram's. Um, tracking mechanism related profile so this is the text that i use a text aggregator for and then this is the profile sd so lower quality i just put the profile pic url here and the full name you don't necessarily need to do it and then profile id all right so you're just mapping the fields that you want we're gonna click ok here i did have an ignore uh error handler right here I don't even know if I ran into too many errors, but I, I guess I just had it there, so I may have. And then in this other router, I just have an iterator. So this is like 
the second part, which is very simple. You just add an iterator and we're actually just going to map the related profiles like this of the array. So that related profiles from the array aggregator. And then we're just going to, in our related IGs table, we're adding the full name from the uh, array, the file URL for their picture. And what I like about Airtable is it automatically just downloads it and puts in the picture or the videos and stuff. So you're not using uh, data from your make um, plan. So you don't have to like waste a bunch of data. All right, username field and then record ID and then Instagram link. We just did the Instagram.com website forward slash username. All right, so very, very simple. Actually, very simple. It's like I would say pretty big. This is very beginner friendly. So if you're new to make, this is like perfect to get you going. Um, and yeah, if you're if you're more advanced and you're like, yeah, this is easy. Okay, cool. Hopefully you got some sort of value from here, maybe with how the build works or whatever. Don't worry, I'm going to be doing a lot more advanced stuff on this channel. It's just, I want to, I want to um, make, I honestly just want to make sure there's enough like demand. I'm going to be posting some really valuable stuff and I have it in the works. I also have been like really developing my back end of content creation. Like I upload a video a set every single day. I want to have a lot more moving parts in terms of just like short form content and stuff like that. As you guys could probably see from this video, I've been building out like this very comprehensive um, Airtable base I call Viral Stride Content OS. So you have like a creators table, channels table, YouTube videos table, Instagram related IGs, Reels, TikTok, TikTok vids, scripts, Facebook, Facebook posts, Twitter tweets, hooks, uh, like a bunch of stuff. It's very comprehensive and whatnot. So definitely i'll be making more videos on that to help you guys implement some strategies like that as well as just in general i'm um yeah i just have a lot of value leveraging that same system where it allows me to be more productive with my uh, content creation process so stay tuned for that if you want to be on the lookout for that make sure to subscribe like the video if you got value from it because um yeah most of, i checked my analytics the other day most of the people watching this aren't actually subscribed it's like pretty much every youtube channel so Yes, I'm going to be one of those guys and just be like, yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It definitely helps me out. I'm really trying to grow this channel um, and I appreciate it. We're building a community on here and I want to be develop this channel into one of those ones where you just find it and you're like, damn, why is he just giving away like so much value for free? And like this is stuff that some people charge thousands of dollars for and like a course or a program or a coaching program, whatever. Um, so yeah, it's good. I'm planning on keeping up ramping the, the value. I really, like when I say I got some really good stuff planned, I do for you guys. So yeah, I want to give you guys a lot of stuff for free anyways. So yeah. And then also if you haven't joined the stride community, it's free at the moment, stridecommunity.com free Facebook group, free discord channel. I'm going to be putting even more exclusive stuff in, in there. So we have about 700 members right now, people in AI uh, enthusiasts, business owners, entrepreneurs, coaches, consultants, agency owners, go high level uh, users, whatever the case may be, they're in there. And then also I just launched my book client acquisition code. This thing is over, what is this one? 600 pages, something like that. Um, it depends on like what format you're looking on it, whether it's like hardcover, um, or ebook or whatever. So that's, it's anywhere from 500 to like 700 pages, depending on the format. And it's super value packed. It's not one of these like ebooks that are just generated by AI. This is something that I've spent years, um, actually like researching and building and writing and over time. And, uh, there's a lot of very practical stuff there. It's kind of like a client acquisition code Bible. If you run a business as well as it do does have a full chapter, just dedicated to like chat GPT prompting and giving you exact prompts. I give you templates for cold emails. I give you how to set up Facebook ad campaigns, how to deal with like any Facebook ad bans or profile issues. So, uh, I think I even touch on multiple profile setups. If you're running paid paid uh, media buying, it's crucial to ensure all, a lot of really cool stuff is in there. Like I was even writing it. I'm like, damn, why am I just giving it away for free? Like so low, it's very, very low. It's just the cost of a typical book investment. So a uh, link for that will be in the description, clientacquisitioncode.com. There's a money back guarantee if you don't actually get any value from it, which is, I did that because I know it's pretty much impossible. 
All right, uh, yeah, go check that out if you're in, if you're like into business and into if you need more clients and just want to optimize your systems and all that stuff. Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Let me know what type of make build or what type of videos you want to see in the future. If you have any questions about this build or need any support or advice, whatever, either let me know in the comments down below low or in the stride community and i will see you in tomorrow's video guys keep hustling keep grinding and of course accelerate your stride take care